Today on MedKit, VR device that restores vision, why is masturbation healthy for you, and trying out grandma's ash remedy for stomach pain. The ESI3 is an augmented reality headset designed to help the legally blind properly see again. Now before you start yelling clickbait at your monitor, please let me explain. The device cannot restore vision to completely blind people. Legally blind are those that have a visual acuity of 2200 in their better seeing eye and with the best conventional correction available. Basically those that benefit from glasses but are still blind as a bat. Oh, try me, bitch. The VR headset uses a high-speed HD camera and two OLED displays. The video feed is processed algorithmically to enhance contrast and quality, which allow users with vision issues to better see the world around them. It is a fully portable device with roughly six hours of battery life that's controlled using an attached remote. The eSight is also designed to automatically focus so that users can transition between nearsighted objects to long distance at ease as well as having the ability to manually zoom in on items. Now these bad boys are available at a whopping 10k a pop but the company is making efforts to make them more accessible to the general public. Soon, very soon, us four eyes will finally be able to be the cool kids on the block. In the old days, masturbation was heavily frowned upon, which led to some unsavory rumors including that it causes blindness, infertility and even hair in the palms of your hands. Fast forward to today, when we have stopped believing everything our priest says and you will find that 85% of men and 70% of women worldwide are enjoying this activity. Now this doesn't come as a surprise for anyone that has felt a delightfully pleasurable experience. Yeah, baby! <laughs> and healthy things should always be pleasurable. During the act of masturbation, pleasure and reward areas of the brain are stimulated, thus reducing feelings of anxiety and stress, and during an orgasm, endorphins are released. These endorphins are able to reduce the perception of pain, and this works on everything from menstrual pain to headaches and toothaches. This little bit of information should throw a wrench into the I have a headache, I'm not in the mood excuse for you lovely ladies out there. Frequent ejaculation has been shown to reduce the risk of getting prostate cancer and it also improves the quality of sperm by making sure that young healthy sperm is constantly being produced. Now specimens of both genders should be attentive to this particular bit of information. Regular masturbation can improve sexual performance. Both males and females have pelvic floor muscles that stretch from your tailbone to your pubic bone. As we age, they can weaken and cause erectile dysfunction in men and sexual dysfunction in women. Not to fret, masturbation can actually activate a reflex that causes them to contract and maintain optimal function levels. Frequent masturbation also contributes to maintaining sexual drive and desire in both men and women. Today we will be trying out the Romanian folk remedy for stomach pain using ash. This technique involves placing warm ash on the abdomen area, not directly on the skin, but on top of a cloth drenched in warm water. Then a mixture of vinegar with sodium bicarbonate is poured over the ash and then the magic can begin. This combination is left on the victim <coughs> patient for about 20 minutes. So I have here my lovely assistant who is conveniently suffering of some menstrual pain, which we will try to fix with ash. Yay! <laughs> so I'm gonna put this... R18 people. <laughs> R18. This warm cloth over her stomach. Toasty. And now... We will put some ash over it. Who's dead grandpa did you dig up? Oh, the cameraman was uh, kind enough to bring us his grandpa. Attention, no grandpa was harmed during the filming of the show. The grandpa's deals were filmed under strict supervision with the utmost concern for their handling. <laughs> what a champ. What a champ. <laughs> I'm going to pour, push this, pour it all over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice and smooth. 
<laughs> not feeling anything yet. Of course you're not. Because now we will put the sodium bicarbonate here. All over nice and full. Why am I feeling like you're cooking something on me? I am. I am. I'm cooking something. Ooh, which, which and now the vinegar, which is the most important part. Okay, I'm sorry. that is fizzy. Wow, it's heating up like crazy. Oh, it's such a, such a, it's my... And, oh, fast, fast, fast. We should cover this. It's like a little bit of a tingle, but a warm tingle. It's so weird. We'll leave this for 20 minutes. This folk remedy claims to heal all kinds of digestive tract afflictions by absorbing all the harmful toxins right out of your body. While this tradition stems from pagan beliefs and traditions, it is still being used today to vexing results. And although there is no possible way in which toxins can somehow be sucked out of your body, using this method will gently warm the abdomen area and this warmth can provide pain relief in uh, certain circumstances such as diarrhea and indigestion. Not bad, Grandma. Not bad. Alina, how was this experience? Fascinating, honestly, fascinating. It was like wildfire. Just put it on and all of a sudden like heat spread and a fizzy sensation. It was actually pretty nice. I was more preoccupied with the sensation to feel any stomach pain. So in that regard, I think it's much better. So really, you should give this thing a go. It's interesting. If you enjoyed today's med kit, like and subscribe for more. Also, if you know of any weird or crazy folk remedies from your part of the world, let us know in the comments down below and we will try them out. This is Anna, this was Medkit, see you next time. about it but I was like meh <laughs>